Greetings Wastelanders, this is David Giant Slayer here with you again for some Fallout 76 action. This is going to be the first part of many videos to come, hopefully tentatively titled Legends of the Wastelands. In it, I will kind of run through life in Appalachia, um, give you some basic rundowns and some stuff that I've learned from friends who play who have really been a big help to me. Um, probably giving them some shout outs with their permission, of course, in the future. Uh, so stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, which pretty much nobody has subscribed, and that's cool. I'm a beginner at YouTube, um, I'm a hardworking blue collar guy. I, you know, have always been that guy, so I've always been very busy and preoccupied, but I'm making more time for YouTube now. Um, Fallout 76 has become possibly my favorite game ever, and here's some reasons why. There's a lot of versatility. First, you've got choice of games. You can get Fallout first, which I highly recommend. I haven't purchased it yet just because I haven't been focused on that. I just really wanted to spend my time learning the game, doing the best I could without any special advantages. And I still have had a great deal of help from really cool people that I've met at the Wasteland. And that's what we're going to get into today is meeting people. Uh, the kind of people that you want to meet, the kind of character that you want to build. Who you want to be in the wasteland it's it's very much it's got a huge role-playing aspect and you should always keep that in mind as you move forward with your wasteland adventure uh, of course the main game would be adventure mode uh, i also have the nuclear winner well, nuclear winner and uh that personally i love it because it sets the playing field a little bit more evenly for people to pvp uh, Unlike an adventure mode where people wind up with these god weapons and can pretty much just decimate anyone that gets in their way, or special god type armor uh, like the fabled uh, strangler armor and other armors that give people an uh, insanely un unfair advantage over others. So if you don't have a player versus player build, you're not going to stand a second chance against these people. Uh, even if you did have one that was pretty successful, you still might not stand a chance against some of these people. But, as I said, we'll get into that later. Uh, the greatest thing about player versus player on Fallout 76 is that you don't have to do it. It's now been changed to where if someone attacks you, you can just ignore them. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of weapons they got or armor or whatever. If you do not shoot them back, they cannot do any damage to you. However, if you're on a team with someone that is PvPing a PvP individual and they do damage to your teammate, uh, they can also damage you because they're fighting your teammate. You're on the team, so you're just as screwed as everybody else if they're one of those kind of guys. Um, having said this about aggressive PvPers and their ego problems, um, there's so much more going on in the wasteland than PvP. And I would encourage you to not like waste the game uh, and waste your time with just PvPing. If you're not in Fallout to explore, then you're missing out on the biggest part of the game. There's so much out there to find and do in the wasteland. Uh, if you're looking for something more, more uh, I don't want to say mindless, but more PvP, I would recommend uh, Grand Theft Auto because it's pretty much got everything you need and all the people in the world who just want to go around killing each other nonstop. Um, personally, I'm a little bit older and that kind of playing style doesn't really appeal to me anymore. Uh, I just have played so many games, I need something deeper and more meaningful. Fallout 76 has everything to offer for many kinds of gamers. And if you are a PvPer, there's a lot for you to do here too. Uh, a whole nother kind of game opens up for you. And, and also... Awesome enough as it is just in venture mode, I have to say that the idea of a PvP build or character build which involves perks is appealing to me just because I want to explore every aspect of the game. But this, it's something that I'll do when I get a little bit higher level and have been playing it for even longer and purchase and unlock more perk cards so that I can have a really good um, player versus player build and find the appropriate armor and weapons that might be able to possibly compete with some of these guys who do that. Uh, but like I said, it's not my primary focus. It's not the reason for getting Fallout. Uh, Fallout is about loners and wanderers. It's not about people going around smacking each other on the butt and saying good game, but it can be that too. But like I said, you will miss out on so much of this game if you spend your time BVPing and nothing else. 
I, I encourage you to do missions, explore, learn, fight things. There are plenty of things for you to fight and kill, and they will kick your butt all up and down the wasteland. Um, I get killed all the time, and I, <laughs> I'm level 113. I actually need to level up again. It's a hard game. It's a great game. It's challenging. It's very deep, and uh, the scope is just... Uh, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. I've been a Bethesda fan for years, and I am so excited that they put this out here. For a role player like myself from way back, who used to play D and D with his friends, uh, like religiously or like once a week. It's it's such a such a great role playing game, and and I just love that about it more than anything else. Honestly, and that's my favorite part about the game. So having said that, this is my first video. Please subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to show you around the wasteland. I'm going to show you things I've learned, some tricks of the trade. Um, mostly, I've been shown these things by other people, and I've figured out a lot of it on my own too. But the best things I've I've learned have been from friends that I've met in the wasteland, who are really cool people. So get out there and meet people. You don't have to fight somebody just to meet them in this game. You can, you know, you can talk. Well, it's been fun, folks, and I'm here at White Springs, and as you can see, I've got my hands here. So stay tuned, subscribe, this is David Giant Slayer again, coming at you from the wasteland of Appalachia, with more Legends of the Wastelands coming soon. Peace.